Hello, this is Lisa, CEO of Site for White, welcoming you to this week's Talking News. We hope that you had an enjoyable Christmas and that you're now looking forward to the new year. This week's Talking News is comprised of the story writing competition which we run each year here at Site for White. The story writing competition gives people the chance to have their work published and read out by a celebrity. Due to the COVID outbreak, we were unfortunately unable to hold our event live again for the second year, but instead we all sat in the office and recorded it and sent it out live on Facebook and announced the winners. I hope you enjoy the stories as we thoroughly enjoyed judging and reading each and every one of them. Happy New Year. Kindest wishes, Lisa, CEO, Cypher White. Hello everyone, we are Double Take and we're delighted to be here and be part of this special event for Sight for White. If you ever go down Trinidad, they make you feel so very glad. Calypso sing and make a fine, guarantee you one real good fine time drinking rum. Hello everyone and welcome to our evening for Sight for White's sixth storytelling competition. As usual, celebrities will be recording the winning entry in each category. And this year we have Richard Cadell, an illusionist, puppeteer and scriptwriter. Robert Dawes, an actor, writer and broadcaster. Amy Robbins, who's a stage, film and TV actress, and the actor Melvin Hayes, who has supported us for so many years. All who have provided their time for free, as do our entertainers, who this year are the vocal group Double Take, the singer Ben Stubbs, and Morris Kachuk, who's an entertainer and will also be our Master of Ceremonies tonight. Thank you all for providing such a special evening for us and especially to all our wonderful story writers. It all promises to be very entertaining and exciting. I would also like to thank Chris Kane for producing such a wonderful event. And now I'd like to hand you over to our CEO, Lisa Hollyhead. Hello, I'm Lisa, the CEO of Sight for White. Welcome to this evening's Story Writing Competition Awards. Unfortunately, I don't have the results, so you'll still have to hold on a little bit longer. I'd like to just introduce you to the charity for those who don't know us. The Story Writing Competition is in its sixth year, and it is important for two principal reasons. Firstly, of course, it fundraises for us, and secondly, it raises awareness of the charity. Our work here is for Isle of Wight benefit only. We look after people who have visual impairment and help them and advise them and support them as much as we can. Obviously, the last 18 months has very, been very difficult for everybody, but particularly for those who are living with a sight loss condition. Just imagine for a moment what it is like to socially distance if you can't see the person you're distancing from, or if you're guiding yourself through touch and the surfaces you're touching you feel aren't clean. For this reason, the trustees have set apart some money in order to employ an individual, our new member support officer, Karen, who is employed entirely to help people get back out into their normal lives. She's there to help with whatever people need, just to try and return a little bit of normality. Thank you very much to the trustees for supporting our idea. Also this year, we've had some quite big changes in technology. We've introduced our own Alexa skill, Sight for White. On this skill, you can hear our weekly talking news, our bi-monthly newsletter, lots of information about our trustees and staff, and local scams that are all around on the Isle of Wight and warnings against them. We've also developed our Hello Everyone QR code. These QR codes are audible QR codes, so you can scan them and listen to the written word or enter into a building with confidence. And the third thing we've done is gone back to our grassroots and we've asked every single member one simple question. 
What can we do to help you? The basis of these answers has formed our new 2020 strategy, which is now well embedded into everything we do here at Site for White. Of course, it was a long time before we were allowed to reopen, but finally July came and we reopened all of our activities to our members. And I am delighted to report we have twice as much attendance as we did before COVID. It's really nice that Millbrook House is now buzzing with life, laughter and fun once again. Turning to the story writing competition, this year we've had more entries than ever before and the judges have been astounded that even though every year they say this, the quality gets better and better every year. I think a lot of people spent some time during lockdown practising their writing skills, particularly the children who entered this year, whose stories are so engaging and full of imagination. So finally, it leaves for me to introduce you to Morris, our Master of Ceremony, who will take over from me. Thank you. Hello, my name is Maurice Kachuk and I'm delighted to welcome you to our sixth annual short story writing competition virtual award ceremony. It gives me great pleasure to introduce Karen, who is the member support officer at Site for White, and she will announce the first set of results for the under 12s category. This year we had a high number of entrants into this category and our mystery judge struggled to pick just three winners. The content, style, flair and imagination shown by the children filled our judges' hearts with happiness and pride. All entries in the under 12s category will receive a special thank you certificate together with a gift kindly donated by Abby Froud, Operations Manager. So without further delay, I can now reveal the winning entries. The third prize goes to Lillian Woodford for her story entitled The Christmas Invention. Our mystery judge said the idea of a book inventing things is brilliant, a magic book that a little girl used to create a nutcracker for the tree, a vision in the mirror showing her how it all worked, well written and imaginative. Lillian wins a chocolate hamper kindly donated by Asda Isle of Wight. Congratulations, Lillian. The second prize goes to Scarlett Madison Wig for her story entitled The Monsters on the Bag. Our mystery judge said the story was inventive and descriptive. The pictures on the bag became monsters and Scarlett and her cat made sure the monsters didn't escape. Well written and imaginative. Scarlett wins a £15 voucher kindly donated by the entertainer. Congratulations Scarlett. And finally... First prize in the under 12s category goes to, but before I announce the winner, here's a short clip of the winning story, so does anyone recognise this? It was a busy night in the maternity hospital. By the time the morning light stabbed through the blinds, 700 baby bugs had hatched. And the winner is Claudia Summers for her story entitled A Vision of a new world. Claudia wins an Amazon Fire Tablet kindly donated by White Computers. Our mystery judge said the story was very well written and care was taken to show how differences in the bugs determined their abilities. However, it also showed that all the bugs were actually equal and that just because something has always been done one way did not mean it always had to be done that way. Well written and thought out. Congratulations, Claudia, a well-deserved first prize. Claudia also gets a CD of her story recorded by Richard Cadell, City and Sweep, story published in the County Press and also interviewed on Vectus Radio in the coming weeks with Kelvin and Maggie Curry. A huge well done to everyone who entered the under 12s category. Before we announce the next category, we are going to have some entertainment from the melodious tones of Double Take, which I know you are going to enjoy.
final number, something that will get you in the festive mood. Uh, we're going to sing for you a John Rutter classic, Angel's Carol. Thank you Double Take for those beautiful songs. Before we announce the next category, we have a very special highly commended award. This was added as a category because the judges felt that the writer who stood out as a future potential winner should be identified and their efforts recognised with their own award. To announce the winner, I would like to introduce Susan Early, Volunteers Manager at Sight for White. And the winner of the highly commended prize this year goes to... Before I announce the winner, does anybody recognise this? It was Halloween when four friends went trick or treating. Their names were Isabel, Beatrix, Gabrielle and Ella. Our winner is Isabella Stanbridge for her story entitled Mystery Man. Our mystery judge said, this story told of Santa Claus at two different times of the year, Halloween and Christmas. The girls were scared of him at Halloween, but not at Christmas. It was so well written. As the highly commended winner, Isabella has had her story read and recorded by the legend Melvin Hayes. 
famous for being one of the stars in the hit 70s TV show, It Ain't Half Hot Mum. Congratulations, Isabella. Isabella has won a Dinosaur Isle family voucher, kindly donated by the Isle of Wight Council. Turning to the next category, the young people aged 12 to 17. This year we had entries from six island schools and the standard was incredibly high and just gets better each year. As with the under 12s, all entrants in the 12 to 17s category will receive a special thank you certificate together with a small gift. Again, picking just three stories was almost impossible for our judge but she took this difficult decision, so I will now hand over to Chris Kane, reception manager at Site for White, to reveal the winners. The third prize goes to Gracie Brackley Mew with her story entitled The Girl Behind the Mirror. Our mystery judge said, a story of how a ghost believes she is real. Or is it a girl who believes she is a ghost? Imaginative writing, very well done. Gracie wins a voucher and travel mug, kindly donated by Comic Coffee, together with a chocolate hamper, kindly donated by Isle of Wight Asda. Congratulations, Gracie, for your story, The Girl Behind the Mirror. The second prize goes to Lakesha Strickland, for their story entitled, The Blindfold of Pain. Our mystery judge said, an interesting story explaining how children are more resilient than we think and giving them false hope is not always a good idea. Very well written. Lakesha wins a 25 pound book voucher kindly donated by Sandham Office Services. Congratulations Lakesha. And finally, the first prize in the 12 to 17 category goes to, before we announce the winner, does anyone recognize this? They underestimate my senses just because I can't see. Who would suspect the blind man of a vengeful act? No one. The winner of the 12 to 17 category is Evelyn Shand, with her story entitled, Underestimated. Our mystery judge said, a great description of how someone with a disability is considered to be incapable of doing things. Very well written and thought out. I was enthralled and disappointed when it ended. Evelyn wins a 50 pound voucher, kindly donated by Janice Ferguson. Congratulations, Evelyn. Evelyn's winning story has been read and recorded by actress Amy Robbins. Congratulations to our winners in this category. A real variety of stories were written by the young people, which makes the judging enjoyable and challenging. Well done, Evelyn. Before we announce the adult category, I'd like to introduce you to the very talented Ben Stubbs, who kindly sang for us last year and is back by popular demand. Hey guys, Ben Stubbs here. I'm really pleased to be able to be involved in the short story writing competition for Sight for White again this year. So thanks very, very much for having me back. Uh, I wish you all the best of luck. I'm here to play a couple of songs for you. Um, so I'm gonna do that. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, Merry Christmas and stay safe, safe everybody. Miss the earth somehow. Miss 
my wife It's lonely out in space is a song by Simon and Garfunkel uh, and it goes a little bit like this Wow. 
So the last song that I've got for you guys is uh, is is a Christmas song, and it's uh, it's my favourite Christmas song actually. It's probably the only one that I uh, I really like to play. Um, I think I played it for you guys last year as well. It's a, yeah, it's a Christmas song. It? It goes a bit like this. Christmas Eve in the drunk time, and no man said to me, Won't see another one. And then he sang a song, The rare old mountain deer. I turned my face away. Bells 
Thank you, Ben. Finally, we turn to the adult category. With 20% more entries than last year, this really is the toughest category to judge. Our mystery judge spent a week reading the entries, narrowing them down to the three winning entries. I now hand over to Abby Froud, Operations Manager at Site for White, who will reveal this year's winners. Because of the high quality of entries, our mystery judge was unable to narrow it down to just three winners, so we have decided to add a fourth winner. The fourth prize goes to Anna Southwell for her story, It Was a Dream or Was It? Our mystery judge said a heartwarming storyline that appeals to all ages, particularly relevant to the Christmas season. This fairy tale captures the reader throughout with its content and plot and leaves one hoping for a happy and fulfilled conclusion. Anna wins an Isle of Wight College lunch voucher for two. Well done, Anna. The third prize goes to Vivian Moles for her story entitled One Good Turn. Our mystery judges said, the reader is drawn towards a familiar setting, but in a clever and humorous style because of the ethereal and witty character within. It is a joyous and light-hearted plot with a real feel-good ending. Vivian wins a £20 voucher, kindly donated by the White Mouse Inn. Congratulations, Vivian. The second prize goes to Fred Canavan for his story entitled Knock Three Times. Our mystery judge said, Captivating and humorous with characters that come alive and with a plot that keeps the reader intrigued throughout, it is a story that offers pure escapism and keeps the reader in suspense until the very end. Fred wins a £50 Marks and Spencers voucher, kindly donated by Margaret Dilley. Before we announce the 18 plus category winner this year, we are delighted to welcome back Maurice Kachuk, who is going to sing and tap dance for your enjoyment. Thank you, Morris. And finally, the first prize in the over 18s category goes to. Let's see if anyone recognises this clip. No, they're coming off. With that, Mackenzie lifted her right leg upon her lap, felt the straps upon her trainer, yanked at them, slipped her trainer off, pulled her sock off, 
wriggled about her toes stretchily, dumped her trainer and sock in the seat directly behind the passenger seat, did the same with her left foot, and then, feeling for the steering wheel in front of her, placed her bare soles upon the stern pedals below her. The winner for this year's 18 plus category goes to River Watson for their story entitled Cliché. Our mystery judge said, a daring and captivating story made even more so by the characters within. The story is gripping, exciting and unique whilst also maintaining an enlightening and sincere plot throughout. The combination of the dramatic storyline and author's perspective of the topic makes it a winner. Congratulations, River. You have won a hover travel voucher worth 10 journeys and also a CD of cliché read and recorded by actor Robert Dawes. Congratulations. Well, what a fun evening that was and the stories that won are absolute worthy winners. Thank you to everybody who entered. I can't quite believe that Christmas is just around the corner, so the final thing for me to do is to say Merry Christmas from everyone at Sight for White. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe Help to make the season bright Tiny tucks with their eyes all aglow Will find it hard to sleep tonight They know that Santa's on his way He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh And every mother's child is gonna spy To see if reindeer really know how to fly And so I'm offering this simple phrase To kids from 1 to 92 Although it's been said Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. Thank you to everyone for entering our story writing competition. We hope you have enjoyed this evening's entertainment and we would all like to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a peaceful New Year. So I'm offering this simple phrase To kids from 1 to 92 Although it's been said many times, many ways Merry Christmas to you Merry Christmas everybody!